Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Okay, so today we're going to do a tutorial, short tutorial, a uh, quick one, on how to use, let's just set this up, how to use Synthmaster 1 in the effects slot. Okay, because I've been asked this a couple of times and it's a little bit confusing at first. But once you understand how it works, then it, it's 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 real simple and it opens up a whole new range of possibilities. Oh yes, oh yes, yes. So audio unit extension for the demonstration purposes, I'll do this. I will put a I'll go down to the bottom here, Galileo two organ inside here. And first of all, my MIDI keyboard is is plugged in, so my oxygen. So I am going to use that as the input for Galileo. Now Galileo already has some effects on it there, so we can open that back, go to effects. Uh, it sounds like a reverb to me, so we'll switch that off. Okay, that'll do. So now we're going to go to our effects slot here, go to audio unit extensions and find, where is it? Where is it now? Synthmaster 1, and it'll say Synthmaster 1 Music Effects. Okay, so it works slightly differently. If I open Synthmaster now, and if I route this to my, if I played Galileo now, yeah, you can hear me hitting the keyboard and nothing happens, but you can see Galileo is triggering. It's not running through the Synthmaster 1 effects. Okay, now if I say, oh, look, I'll do this. I'll set my Synthmaster 1 to the effects slot. And all it's doing is bypassing everything else and just using the, using the, um, you know, the, the synths that are already there. So we don't want that. So what we have to do, okay, it works by receiving MIDI. So what we need to do is, the most important thing is it'll be like this. You tap on the preset here where it says, at the moment it says our robot or KS. Tap on that, select initial preset. And what that does is put Synthmaster into audio input mode. Now I'm playing Galileo. I can go to the effects and Synthmaster. Let's choose a, a reverb so you can hear it. And there you go. And what you can also do is go to routing here and you can use the, the, the filters. Uh, you've already got sub as an input here. So if we go back to here and we play with the filter section, you see it's gone really, it's all the top ends gone down. We can. And then we can bring in our sub oscillator. And of course we can add more effects now if we wanted to. So let's just go to our effects and add say chorus, switch it on. Okay, so now that is rooted like if I take my oxygen off, I still won't hear anything. So Sith Master has to receive MIDI. Okay, so it has to receive MIDI. That's the important thing. You can also do this here in the MIDI routing by, if you just plug it in, it'll be like that. And then you can do it like this. Uh, I mean, I'm using AUM as an example, but obviously it works in other stuff as well, but you just be aware that Synthmaster has to receive MIDI. Now also some other cool th things you can do because it works like, a, it's like a MIDI effect sort of thing, yeah? So if I set up here, say for instance, I, I don't know. Look, let's just, we'll just do some drums. Okay, so we'll do a, a Rosetta, uh, we'll do a Ruse Maker. And here we will go to Audio Unit Extension and we want something to play Ruse Maker. So we're going to use the standard like XOX drum machine. Now, first of all here, most importantly is openness and Take this to Rosetta XOX MIDI out like this, okay? And then we can go to our XOX here. We can, we can let's just generate an, an auto-generated pattern for the point of the demo sort of thing. And if we press play now, so watch my volume on the Ruse Maker. 
cool beans. Now, I want Synthmaster to, I want to use Synthmaster 1's effects on Ruiz Maker. So we just tap this and again, go to audio units extension. And because it's audio units, we can have as many of them as our computer will deal with sort of thing. At the moment, it's running at about 30% on my iPad Air 2, which is old, old and ancient. All right, Synthmaster 1 effects. <clears throat> okay, now, again, we need to initialize, so we need to go there and initialize preset. Okay, so that puts Synthmaster 1 into audio input mode. Okay, that's that's the key thing here, you know. But we still needed to receive MIDI. So what we want to do is this time we can open this and we want to get our MIDI from the XOX. Okay, and now when we play, and we go to our effects section, the end here let's choose effects and let's choose a, a delay now we're delaying our ruse maker drum machine being played by rosetta xox with synth masters delay we can add some uh, compression And again, also, we can um, go to routing, engage one of the filters. You can engage both of them if you want to. But for speed, we'll just engage the one. And then we've got our... And then also, then we can add some reverb. And now, of course, I can play my Galileo as well. And that's how you set up Synthmaster 1 in the effects slot. So you can use Synthmaster 1's effects if you wanted to, you know. <clears throat> and of course, you can go on and on and on. But the important thing to remember is Synthmaster 1 must receive MIDI. It has to receive MIDI as to work as an effect, if you know what I mean. If you don't have it rooted somewhere, like for instance there, you, will, you won't hear anything at all now. If I press play, nothing will happen until I do that. But doing that's not going to, because it has to get its MIDI from, say, wherever you, you want it from. course you can get on uh, you, you can get as complex as you like you can play with all the filters you can start changing the wave shaping and stuff like that so it's pretty cool so you basically you're you've been able to route your audio through synth masters filters uh, 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 and, 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 and effects you know which is very 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 cool because it gives you a vast scope to play with when you're doing this now also i'm going to do a tutorial as well because also synth master <coughs> has a um a full, a full, a 16 man vocoder, and that is really pretty cool beans, right? Okay, uh, thank you for watching. I'll put links in the description for Synthmaster One and uh, and AUM and, and the other apps used. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out KV331 Audio's website, they've always got tons of deals, and I think there's a sale on now, or there's one coming up. And um, yeah, cool beans. I've considered becoming a Patreon, even who you know. Win some apps. Uh, okay, guys, listen, I'm going to go. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.